Welcome back to the Messy Cook 1970. So today I am making uh, weeknight spaghetti sauce. So this is a quick and easy, uh, really delicious spaghetti sauce that you can do in about a half an hour to 40 minutes when you get home from work. Um, so my ingredients here, you can see a bit of a count, pound of ground beef. You can use ground turkey, ground chicken, ground veal, ground pork, uh, or omit the meat if you want, just use veggies. A bunch of mushrooms, uh, however many you want. This is kind of the, the nice thing about it. You put in as much or as little as you want of the veggies. I've got three big cloves of garlic. I also have uh, one big onion and just a yellow pepper. But any color of pepper will do. You can also use any color of um, uh, any color of uh, onion you like. So if you prefer, uh, you know, red onion, that's fine. I'm just drizzling a little bit of olive oil. It's a little dark on the bottom because it's the end of the bottle. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to toss in uh, the ground beef. I'm just going to break this up a little bit with my fingers. And we're going to get this all brown together. So whatever meat you want to do, you're just going to break that all in. And you're going to get that all browned up. So I'm just going to continue with that. And I'll show you a nice little gift I got from my dad for Christmas. It's a, um, I don't know, I call it a meat smasher. I don't know. Using anything everybody's using, and it helps uh, mince your meat a little bit smaller. Just you know, package it up. I buy it bulk, and then when I end up packaging it up, it kind of comes together in a big ball. So we're going to continue and get this cooked till it's all broken up and cooked through. And I like to do a little bit crispy, um, and what that crispy does is gives it a little bit more flavor, like when you're grilling a steak or a piece of meat and get that crust on the meat, that's going to give it some lovely flavor. Okay, so I've got this meat uh, cooked up here. There is a bit of uh, fat still left in it, and instead of adding more oil, I'm going to use this fat to uh, fry in the onions and the pepper. So we're just going to put those in, just dump them right in. I always start with the harder vegetables that are going to take a little bit longer to cook uh, first. So we're going to start with those, and I'm going to saute these down uh, just literally for a couple of minutes. This is a really quick throw-together dinner um, that we're going to basically toss everything in, uh, get things softened for about a minute, um, and add the rest of the veggies in, soften them again a little bit more, like I said, and then just a matter of adding spices and sauce. So I'm going to let this go for a couple more minutes here and then I'll add in the other stuff. Okay so at this point you can see the onions are a little opaque they're not quite white anymore they're just getting a little translucent loosened sorry I can't speak today um, so we're just gonna pop in the garlic at this point if you put it in too early the garlic just gets burnt and then it tastes horrible burnt garlic is not something you want so putting it at this stage uh, with the mushrooms, because the mushrooms let out a fair amount of water and shrink down, that garlic won't be, uh, um, won't, you know, get burnt, you know, to, to, uh, burnt or crispy tasting. Um, you just want a mellow flavor. A little tip about garlic, if you don't know, the smaller you cut it, the hotter it gets. And, um, the hotter you cook it, the hotter it gets. So if you have it at a really high heat, it's going to get crispier on the edges. It's going to be a little bit, um... Um, you know, hotter tasting, whereas if you roast garlic whole, you'll get a really lovely uh, caramelized flavor. I do that periodically, and then I freeze it. Uh, I do a whole bunch of garlic, and I can get it on a good price, and uh, roast it all up. I believe I have a video for that, so you can go back and look, and then I keep it in um, the freezer, and... Uh, we just use those periodically if I'm making roasted mashed potatoes and roasted garlic mashed potatoes, something along that line. So I'm going to let these cook for a little bit longer and then I'm going to add in uh, dried herbs. You can also add in uh, fresh herbs if you have them, but I'm going to do uh, the dried today because like I said, this is a quick after work sort of meal. Now this base here also is the base for what I do for um, my chili. So, We'll do chili on another uh, another day, but I'm going to show you that it basically starts with the same base, and you can add whatever veggies you want. Same with this. If you want to add in zucchini, you want to add in, um, well, I don't know, some carrots or some celery, you put in what you want to use. If you don't like mushrooms, don't put mushrooms in. So use whatever it is you like. So we're going to let this fry. I think that's probably good enough for now. 
mushrooms are starting to vote. And I'll just show you what I have here. I have a teaspoon of dried oregano, a teaspoon of uh, dried basil, about half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon, it looks like more, but it's just about a half a teaspoon of just regular old table salt. Use whatever salt you have. I'm going to sprinkle this. This is what's making it into the spaghetti sauce. So what I would do with the, uh, the chili is just add in different spices at this point, and then I'm going to add in different things to turn it into chili, but this one, like I said, is just going to be our lazy week night pasta. So we're going to fry this. We want to get everything browning, and it'll take a little bit more, and then we're going to add the sauce in. So this has been like 10 minutes, maybe, so that you're, you're already past the halfway point. This is pretty quick, so... Uh, let me get to that in just one second and we'll add that sauce in. Okay, so we're to the point where we're going to add the pasta sauce in. Now, I am using strained tomatoes and I, that's what I prefer to use. If you want to use just regular spaghetti sauce, bravo, ragu, you can use whatever type of sauce you want at this point. Although I would recommend if you're going to use spaghetti sauce from a jar to make the herbs half of what they were. So maybe half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of dried basil. Um, the salt and pepper you can keep the same, but the, um, the basil and oregano I would do differently. If you don't have basil or oregano and you have Italian seasoning, um, if you're using tomato sauce like I did, put two teaspoons of that Italian seasoning in. If you um, are using spaghetti sauce from a can, Use one teaspoon of that, and that should uh, that should be plenty because those are basically oregano and basil mixed. I think there's some thyme in there, so put in put in whatever seasonings that you like. This is what I do. This is just really really simple, and that's basically it. So the veggies need to do uh, soften up a little bit, so we're going to let this simmer for about 15 or 20 minutes. So I'm going to come back and test it. So I'm going to turn this right down. You want this just bubbling. Very little. Uh, if you have a screen that you want to put over top so it doesn't spit all over your stove and leave a mess, uh, you can do that as well. Um, and nearing the end, I'm going to add in some grated Parmesan. You can do fresh. You can do the stuff from the shaker. Uh, whatever, whatever works best for you. And then you're basically set. So we'll just cook some pasta up. Um, today, my husband is going to have it on spaghetti. And I'm having it on spaghetti squash. So I've uh, halved... Uh, spaghetti squash and I've popped it in the oven face down with a little oil and some salt and pepper and I'm roasting that as we speak so I'll show that to you when we are all set to serve this up so yeah I if you have any questions about you know tips or tricks or whatnot just let me know and in the meantime we're going to let this simmer for a while and we'll come back all right so the sauce is just about done this has been simmering for about 20 minutes uh, I checked flavor. It's really, really good. At uh, this point, I'm going to let it go for five more minutes, but I want to add in some Parmesan cheese. You don't have to put this in the sauce, but I like to. It just kind of, I don't know, gets it through the sauce a little bit better. So I put on, oh, I don't know, however much you want. That's probably about a quarter of a cup. So in the last little bit, I will save her on top of our pasta. So I've got that done. Just throwing that in here. And I'm going to let that cook for about five more minutes. I do want to show you, um, I'm just going to put on top um, the spaghetti squash. So that's it here. I, as you can see, I just cut it in half. I sprinkled some olive oil in it and um, sprinkled it with uh, salt and pepper. You don't need to do too much. You just put in as much as you like and then sprinkle it around. This came out of the oven a little while ago. So what I like to do is literally just string this out. As you can see, it comes across sort of like a string. Uh, I'm trying to eat a little low carb to lose a couple of pounds. Um, so what I'm doing here is just going to continue to string that. So I'll do that with both of these. Uh, I'm going to do one for myself for tonight. The other one I will string and just put the... Um, the difference in a container and just have it as a side veg with some a little bit of butter and salt and pepper so that's basically it when I want to eat what I do is I just drizzle a tiny bit of olive oil a little more salt and pepper I'm going to put this meat sauce on top and then I'm going to bake it in the oven with a little bit of mozzarella on the top so that's spaghetti squash if you don't like spaghetti squash you don't have to have it you could just do it plain and simple um, with the regular old pasta so I just wanted to show that to you as an option and the sauce is bubbling away nicely. 
So we're going to just stir that in. So this is super easy, quick and easy spaghetti sauce or weeknight spaghetti sauce. And this is great too if you want to do a lazy lasagna, you want to do just uh, cook a bunch of noodles and mix it in and bake it in the oven in a pan. Just have like a noodle casserole, that's really good too. So I'm going to let that uh, simmer for five more minutes and then uh, we're going to eat in a short little while. Okay, so I've uh, got my spaghetti squash all shredded up and it does have the uh, consistency of spaghetti. It's not the same texture, obviously, but if you're doing low carb, it's a nice alternative. Um, I'm going to put a couple scoops of spaghetti uh, sauce on there. I've already drizzled a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper, so a couple good scoops. Eh, why not up a little bit more? Got to be filling. Squash isn't very filling, so and the meat sauce is everything's pretty lean in there, so I've uh, got a little bit more Parmesan here. Forgot to grab that. Just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the top there, just for a little extra flavor. Because remember, we put some in the sauce, and you can shred some mozzarella. You don't have to even put mozzarella on there, but I do because I like it. So these are just some little bocconcinis I had. So I'm just going to use them because I'm too lazy to shred a whole thing of. Um, mozzarella cheese and put it on the top but do whatever works best for you you use cheddar cheese or sliced cheese whatever like I said it's just a quick easy uh, night meal so I've got the oven on uh, broil so I'm going to pop this under broil for about um, about five minutes and check it just to make sure everything's all heated through and I'll show you when we're all set all right so you can see this is uh, bubbled up and nice and brown we've got some stringy bits and pieces I like that that's kind of nice so um, this is all set. I like that you can just reheat it, um, you know, reheat the uh, the squash and the sauce and make it a kind of like its own little vessel, which is nice to still put in a bowl. But uh, yeah, it's really delicious. Super hot, so let it cool for a couple of minutes. And um, I'm going to show you just with the pasta. Uh, I'm doing some noodles for my hubby. He's going to be home in a bit. So um, we're going to do these noodles here for him. They're just kind of like an egg noodle and um, I'll show you as soon as we get to that point. Okay, so this is my husband's. I cooked a little bit wider, uh, sort of an egg noodle, and mix it in with the sauce, which is another way you can do it. So there's not uh, not just one way to eat your dinner and have the spaghetti sauce. And I just have the cheese on the top here. So that's it. So thanks for joining me. I hope you uh, try this lazy weeknight uh, spaghetti sauce. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little reminder bell. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great night.